Hey there everyone back with another video and in this video we will be learning all about the built-in objects that we have in JavaScript and uh, yeah totally we have around seven built-in objects in JavaScript coming from numbers, string, boolean, arrays, math, uh, date and regular expression. So these are the seven uh, built-in objects that we have in JavaScript and so let's jump in and let's learn all about the, the number object. So again guys in this video we will be diving deep into these number objects and learning all of its uh, properties and methods that JavaScript allows to use them and again uh, we will be having a separate videos for each one of those uh, built-in objects so that we will be diving deep into that and getting to know all of its uh, properties and methods in each of the built-in objects so if you're new to this channel make sure that you subscribe and also hit that bell button so that whenever i release some new videos you will be notified so yeah let's jump in and let's learn about number object again guys as a side note please don't be confused with the number data type and the number object so this is totally different so what i'm going to do i'll just say if i do something like where a is equal to this some numbers it is number i'm sorry yeah it's number data type right so this is number data type so we are not doing this we have already studied this in this course so now what i'm going to do i'll just say obj or i will just say num and i will initialize this to a number object called as number so make sure that guys you have a cap n so this is a constructor of a number class so if i do this it will create a number class and assign it to num so now in this parameter i can send uh the integers or else you, i can also send some floating point numbers as you wish right so now what i'm going to do i'll just console it to the log and let's check out how it looks in the log so and as you can see guys as you can see it's a number object notice here it's a number object which has a value called as you can see it's 12.23 right so you can also pass integers it will be becoming as an integer number right so it's up to you so if again notice if you don't send anything by default it will take zero as its default value for that number right so before going further into its properties and objects so now what is the maximum again guys i'll just i have a comment over here i will just say this is number at some sorry yeah, number object so don't be confused with number objects and number data type so what is the now yeah what is the maximum value that we can pass over here can we pass some kind of n number of digits is there a limit and what is the minimum value and what is the maximum value for that so in order to get that you need to do something called as i'll just say i'll just have some kind of a value dummy value over here and in the next console what i'm gonna do i will just say uh number dot min value so again guys this is a property which is associated to number object so now it will print the minimum value that uh, uh that we can store in a number object right so this is the minimum value which can be stored and similarly what is the maximum value that can be stored instead of min what i'm going to do i will just say max so again guys this max underscore value is a property of a number object so let me check in the output and notice here this is the maximum value that we can supply to a number object in this parameter right so this is the maximum value and again notice here this is more than enough to do any complex and precision uh, calculation and all of those arithmetic stuff in javascript so i will just comment this out uh, i will just don't need this and let's begin with uh, some other stuffs like I'll just say, uh, yeah, let's work around with the number of methods. So I'll just say console dot. I'm sorry, I'll just remove the caps. So I'll just say console dot log. And suppose if I do something called as num dot value of. So what it will return? It will just return the value inside that number. So it it is not a number. Now I'm sorry, it is not an object. It's a pure number. So this is. Uh, this method called as value of will return the number inside this object. So this is the uh, more commonly used method in number objects. And similarly, we can also have something called as I will just say 
uh, num dot if I do something called as to uh, string so it will just return a number that is in that object in the format of a string so as you can notice here this is a number and this is a string in the format of a string right so it is also one of the commonly used methods in number objects so again let us dive deep and understand some of the methods in number object I will just say hmm, num dot I will just say to fixed so what do you what do you mean by this num dot to fixed it will just uh, make you some precision in the floating point number I will just say 12 point some blah 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 over here in the decimal point if I just say 2 it will make sure that it will be precise to 2 digits right so just go ahead and explore some of its working around uh, this and if I just say 3 it will be making sure yeah I think yeah it's 3 digits so it will apply the rule of precision if it is more than the third digit is more than 5 I'll just say 6 I think uh, or 5 it will increase that I guess so now it will increase and again guys it is totally dependent upon you and your logic and your precision make sure and go ahead and explore this two fixed method it is again self explanatory google just google it and you will be getting to know that so now I just want to show you another method called as I'll just say um, instead of two fixed I will just say two exponent shell right yeah it's a thing so what it will do it will print in the format of and i'm sorry what is the things i just mixed missed out some brackets over here parentheses oh gosh what is the thing oh, i'm sorry it's a, <laughs> a spelling mistake over here. yeah it's an shell there you go as you can see here it is now printing the exponential of the thing that is in the number right so this these are the guys I again mean, these are the things that we have in uh, javascript so these are all the methods and this is the properties of that number object and this is the number object itself right so i hope that i have explained to you all of the things that it's in the number object so just go ahead and google it all the properties and the rest of the methods in javascript which is related to number uh, and make sure that you use them accordingly in your uh, project development. I hope that this video made your day and uh, please like and share and also comment. Uh, let me see what is your uh, things in the comment section below. And again, if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe and also hit that bell button and you will be notified whenever I come up with a new video. Yes, guys, this is all uh, it for today and see you in the next video. Until then, take care.